Today we're going to be doing a live autofocus test with the Lumix S1 and the 24 to 105 lens. I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments asking to do an autofocus test with the Lumix S1 now that I have one in my hands, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. This is specifically about video. This is not a still shooting test because this is actually going to be a live test here in the studio. I'm going to put this camera up on a tripod and you are going to see exactly what happens as the camera is autofocusing. Now, I have had some interesting experience in the past, interesting history with autofocus tests on this channel, and so I'm not going to make any kind of claims. I'm not making any claims. I'm not saying it's this, that, or the other thing. We're just going to take a look at what it is, and we're going to leave it at that. Now, also to make sure that everybody's clear exactly how this is happening, how you are able to see the autofocus live, we are outputting through the HDMI port on the Lumix S1, but we are also going to be recording internally. So here's the configuration. Lumix S1, 24 to 105 lens. That's the kit lens. It is connected to this wireless HDMI system. I did a show on that recently. It's actually pretty darn cool. Very affordable wireless HDMI. I'll put a link to that at the end. And that is being routed through my switcher, through my mixer. Now, I will talk a little bit more about the exact configuration once we have it up on the tripod. But effectively, what I'm going to do is a couple of just walking towards, jumping in and out of frame, tests on the camera. While recording, you're going to see it happening live, and then we're going to pull the card out, drop it into Final Cut, and take an even closer look at it. So with that said, let's get this thing rolling. Let me explain the setup here. All right, so this is, of course, the camera on the tripod. And then I have a confidence monitor here. You are going to see me looking out of frame a lot because I need to see me on this screen, but that's what, that's what that is. You, of course, can also see through the camera here. And I've set it up so that you can see the menu system as well. We are shooting at 4K 24, 3840 by 2160 at 24p. Now, to be clear, this is the S1. This is not a GH5. This is not true 24.00 frames per second. This is 239 eight or 23976 if you want to get really particular about it. It is recording in 4K. It is outputting over HDMI in 1080p. So it's 1920 by 1080 coming out. So that's what you're actually going to be seeing for the live part of it. Um, also at 2398. Let's take a look at the exposure on the shot. So the way this is set up, it is a manual exposure setup. You can see the shutter speed down there. I'm going to set the shutter speed to 50. The aperture we're shooting wide open at f4.0. ISO is set to auto so that I can get a little bit of auto exposure happening. It is set to auto because the back of the studio is a little bit darker than the front of the studio and I just wanted to make sure that you know I'm exposed properly all the way through. And then the actual autofocus control is set to face detection. So this is not single area, this is actual face detect autofocus that we are going to be seeing. So I'll start without recording, just show you a little kind of walk through of what we're going to do and then we will. hurt myself. Ow, that actually really hurt. And do an actual test. All right. Oh, man. So you can see that it's got my face in here. If I back up a little bit, we'll get to a point where it drops face detection. It switches over to body. So they were at body detection. It's kind of funny how as I move my arms out, it finds the size of that body there. As I get a little bit closer, it will switch over to face. Eventually, there we go. Switches over to face, finds that eye, locks on the eye, and that is our face detection. You can also see it occasionally white box around the background here. There's something about the shape of the reflector, the diffuser. It just seems that it think that it might be human like. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's get this thing started, shall we? So I'm going to simply start back here, make sure it's nice and focused. Make sure it's I'm sure it's focused by now. And then just going to do a quick little right up to the frame. Focus this pretty quickly. Nice and smooth, nice and clean. Looking pretty good. Let's do a uh, We'll do like a walking to it, right? So I can go back here and just do a simple little walking. But I think what we really want to do to really make sure we're doing this right is record. So let's do that right here. Hit record on there. We are recording now. And let's do this again. So back to the back. We'll do a quick little run up. So we're just going to run up like this. Give that a moment. There we go. By the time I looked over there, it was already focused. Now let's go back again. Check and see if I'm bleeding or not. I don't think so. And it's going to walk slowly. Kind of a standard walk and talk, just walking and talking to the camera, having a little chit chat with the audience and see what that looks like. And then last thing I'm going to do is just completely jump out of frame, let that focus on the background and completely jump back into frame. It finds me and focuses on me. Not too shabby. All right, let's stop that.
And now let's go ahead and I will grab the card and let's take this up to the computer. All right, we are going to be using Final Cut for this. I've got my ProGrade SD digital card, SD card here, very, very nice. The ProGrade reader, super fast. Love this, still love this, how it just magnetizes onto the back of your computer. We're in Final Cut. There's the two tests that I just did. Let's grab those guys and copy them to the library. Got my empty timeline here. Let's take this first clip, drop it onto the timeline. And just to verify what we're looking at here, we are looking at a UHD 3840 by 2160, 23.98 frames. So just as I explained. Since I couldn't see what was happening while I was walking towards it, I'm gonna watch this normally once and then we'll go back through and go a little bit more slowly and see what really was going on. So here we go. No sound on this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk over it. So there I go jumping to the back of the screen there, back of the scene, way up close and boom, that locks in. That's nice, that's fast. I think that's pretty good. All right, back to the beginning there and checking for blood, yes, good idea. Now do a slower walk and talk type of an environment. It's looking pretty good. I see it got a little soft a couple of places there. Okay, stop the presses or the edit. Here's what I realized right in the middle of editing this, I was looking at the footage where it lost focus on me a little bit. It was a little bit soft for second, second and a half or so before it grabbed it again. I realized when I was looking at the output through the switching system, so I was seeing the boxes that the camera was drawing, that remember how it was grabbing onto that reflector or whatever and putting a box around it? Well, look at this. <laughs> See the yellow box? <laughs> it thought that the umbrella was the primary subject. Yellow means the primary. In fact, if you have multiple people in the scene, you'll see a box around each of them. The yellow box is the one that the camera thinks is the primary. You can even tap on that box to assign them as the primary, which is really neat. But anyway, here, the camera grabbed the umbrella as the primary, just for a moment, but long enough that focus went to that and then came back to me. So I'm redoing the test right now. And just to make sure that you all know that everything's on the up and up here, I'm not hiding anything. The original live show is still intact. It's still online, you can view it. The link is down below. I'm going to redo a test right now. Before I only shot it at one focal length, I think it was about 24 mil. I'm going to test this at 24 and 50 and 105 so we can see what that looks like. Now, I also am not using the HDMI out right now because I have discovered that the HDMI out in conjunction with internal recording does reduce autofocus performance a little bit, um, which is pretty remarkable to say that considering that in the live test, we were doing it that way, recording internally and going out HDMI, and it still worked really well, little flaws, but it worked really well. So now we're gonna record just internally and so that you can still see what's happening on the back. I've got another camera pointed at the back of the S1 so you can at least see what's happening there. So. That's what we're doing right now. I'm going to start recording on the S1. Step into frame right here. Step in, I'm right in the front of the camera right now. I am arm's reach from the camera at 24 millimeter. This is basically where we were before in the earlier test. And I should be able to walk back quite nicely in here. It should go from face to body detection at some point. I'll try not to walk into my backdrop here. And we should have a pretty good autofocus performance right now. So now I'm gonna get up to the front. I'll go ahead and stop here for a moment. Take a little breath, make sure it's focused. I can't tell, I'm not seeing anything right now. And then I'm gonna step out and zoom this to 50 millimeter. Now I'll step back into frame at 50 millimeter. Make sure that has had a moment to focus on me. And from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start walking back again. Walking back, walking back, walking back. And we'll see if it has held on to me the entire way through there. Now let's walk forward, walking forward, walking forward. It's very exciting, all this walking going on here, isn't it? And uh, that is at 50 millimeter. Now, let's go ahead and switch it over to 105, zoomed into 105, back into the frame. I should be pretty nice and tight. I am a little bit farther away from the camera right now, but that should be a pretty good framing placement. And once again, we'll just do the walking back, do the walking back, the shuffle backwards, touch that wall, spin around, hands on the ground, and Shake it all about. Here we go. So we're back up to the front now. I think that was my closest point from before. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got. And there we go. That's the shot. So by now you have already seen the footage that came out of the camera. We've discussed that. Uh, we've looked at that. So I, I guess that's it. At the end of the live show, there was a Q&A. So if you want to see the Q&A, click on the thing that's going to come up right here over my face in just a moment. And once again, if you want to see the whole live show, that's linked below as well.